KTL exclusive. Oh, oh, it's the car in the building. We ain't sorry if we kill it. Riding for my God, niggas know I'm never serving. Spreading love, cause our people hurt. Yeah, is it oppression or depression? Is it all ready? All praises, all right, man. How y'all brothers feeling? Y'all good? Good. 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 First and foremost, I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, by Shema Masiaki Awashah. That's all praises, all honor and glory to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, right? Uh -huh. Wake them up! We are the Israelites, right? The true sons of the living God. Right! Out Dude. here to wake up our people and to, and to proclaim the judgment that has been since the beginning of the world that all these nations around us are nothing. That's that right. All these nations have a punishment as well as us, but they have a punishment for their disobedience. Bring it out. Right? And, and our people got to understand that we got to come back to what our heritage is. We got to come back to uh, our true identity, right? Before, before all that, let me get uh, Jeremiah 17. We got to come back to who we are, man. For too long, I see the people out in Times Square, they just want to follow their own heart. They just want to follow the white man. They just, they, our own people look like tourists in their own land. I mean, this ain't their homeland. This ain't our homeland, but this is our own land. And we got the heathens out here acting like it's theirs, acting like they belong here. When they're the real strangers. Hey, you're a stranger. Take you and that white dog and go back to where you came from. Right. 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 Straight like that. That's how we giving it up, bro. Yo, my, my man, where you from, bro? Here. You from here? You believe in God? Of course. You got a minute? You got a second? You got a second for God? Two minutes. Two minutes. Listen to this verse right here. Right. Bring it up. What's your name? Dominican. Dominican. All Dominican, bro. This is a sign. You see yourself on the sign? This is a tribe of the children of Israel. We right. yeah. yeah. the people of God, right? And on this sign, we got various various tribes, right? And throughout these various tribes, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are encapsulated in these various tribes, right? right. You see the tribe of Judah, which is the tribe That's where right. Christ comes from. Right. When you call Jesus Christ, he right. comes from the tribe of Judah, right? You being Dominican, you will come from the tribe of Simeon. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Are y'all also from, from Dominican Republic? Or right. she's not, she's Polish. She's Polish? She's Polish, okay. So the Polish people, as you see, are not on this sign. They come from a different nation, not of the children of Israel, what? right? The Bible was written by the children of Israel for the children of Israel That's so that we can bring peace on earth, right? Because right. God chose the children of Israel above all people, right? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, Baba Gisha. Give me this right now, right? Well, Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, so this continue from that heritage. So this is a message to Israel, the people of Israel, right? We would discontinue from our heritage, right? That I gave thee. That God gave us, right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And we, we will be caused to serve our enemies. Now hold it right there, right? You're being called Dominican, right? Before you were called Dominican by, by uh, uh, St. Dominic, right? What right. were you called? What, you mean the tribal name? Of the, of even, the island. even that. The tribal name of the island. What, what were your people called? Not the island. What were your people called? Uh, they called you Dominican. You know, there's, there's like four types of different tribes in the island. Even different there. tribes, right? Yeah. But when y'all came over here, y'all didn't. When y'all came over here, y'all didn't. You did get tricked, right? Right. Because y'all didn't speak Spanish. Big Y'all didn't speak Spanish. Big Did y'all speak Spanish? Big time. Big time. But the Spaniards came over and taught y'all Spanish. You want to hear a funny right? story. So, so he... So that's how you got discontinued from your heritage, right? right. Before that, you spoke a dialect of Hebrew. Bring it out. Right? So, so when our people came over from the West Coast of Africa, right, which is where the, the black people, so-called black people, right, as well as you guys, as well as the natives, right, we were all scattered throughout the earth. That's so right. So throughout that scattering, we lost who we were. We lost our heritage, right? You're calling yourself Dominican. My people call themselves black, a color, right? That's nothing, right? That doesn't denote culture, right? Bring this out. What did God say about the Israelites and how how much he cares for them? How, let's see how much he cares for them as, as opposed to everyone else on the world. 
Because not everyone is a child of God. Do you understand that? That's right. What's up? It's Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read it out. For thou art holy people. Wait, give me give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 so he knows who, who's being talked to. This Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Yeah, so he understands that we're not speaking of our own words, but we're talking about what the Bible says, right? We're not trying to uh, confuse you. We're not trying to trick you. We're trying to say exactly what the Lord says and what the Bible speaks of. Right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. Oh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto, unto all, all Israel. Israel. Right? And you know who Moses is, right? Familiar. He, he uh, led the, the Israelites out of Egypt, right? So now he's giving them commandments of God. More than 10 commandments, right? You understand there's more than 10? The Israelites heard 10 commandments and they were too afraid. So they said, Moses, you go, we want to deal with Moses. And then Moses came and brought back the, the whole law, which is the five, the first five books, the Torah, right? So now go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Now that he knows uh, Moses is talking to Israel, go on. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou are a holy people. What? A holy people. What does holy mean? If I ask you, what does holy mean? What would you say? Okay, interesting answer. Well, she knows her Bible. Right? Uh, it's, mm. it's an answer. What did you say? say this, holy saying, means blessed, and blessed means happy. So, what is holy? Mean? What does holy mean? Sacred, or I don't know. True. True. It sacred. depends on how you look at it. Sacred. Under sacred. God. Okay. Under sacred. God. Truth. Okay, so sacred, right? Holy means to be set apart. Or, you know, uh, to be separated. Right. Holy means, like, if you're supposed to be holy, right, you're not supposed to be like this world, right? So if you're holy, you're not like this world. What does that mean? You've taken yourself out of the world. That's you're now right. holy unto God. You're now precious. You're now uh, sacred, right? So, read on. A holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God, right? Thy means your, it's possessive, right? So your God has chosen you. Has chosen thee to be a special people. To be a what? To, to be, be a, a special, special people. people. Right. Go unto on. himself. Unto who? Unto, unto himself. himself. God chose you, you, all of us, to be a special people unto himself. Right. right. Above all people. Where? Above, Above all, all people. people. How many people? Above all people. That's all people. Where? Wait, where are these people? Now, Above all the people the here? Face of the earth. Wait, it's like, wait just here? Yeah. Or, or yeah. Where? where? How many? Where? Where? Go on. Upon the face, face of the, the earth. earth. All people all over the earth. God said that the Israelites, wherever they are, are above all people. Right? Yeah. So, so understand you're Israelite and you got it. Let me give you this last this last two. Let me give you this last, let me give you this last verse before you go. Right? Last two. Okay, I got, Kyle, I got you. I got you. Read this real quick. It's Leviticus 20, verse 26. You are to be holy to me because I, the Lord, am holy. And I have set you apart from the nations to be my own. So holy means set apart. You've been set apart to be unto God, holy, right? In the last one. Because you know you're an Israelite, right? But there's something we got to do, right? We are. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Read out. And now Israel. Now Israel. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of us, right? Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to love him. Now understand that to fear God, Walking in his ways and love is all synonymous. So love, if you fear God, you respect him. If you respect God, you love him. If you love God, you keep his commandments. Right. That's right. right. So we must keep his commandments so that our people, not just ourselves, can be prosperous, right? right. So with that, um, I want you brothers to have a good yeah. day. Enjoy you too, yourself. Bro. Appreciate it, man. Right. Get this. He's going to give me a Take care of your kid, man. Well, what's up, bro? Hey, man, how you doing? Where you from, bro? I'm from Richport. From where? Richport. Richport. Uh, where with your family? Uh, they're from Mexico. Huh? Mexico. Mexico. All crazy. They probably you see yourself on this side? Uh, no, I don't. What, what are the various tribes of the children of Israel, God's chosen people, would your people come from? Would it be Zebulon? Would it be Ephraim? You said, you said Mexico, right? Can you find Mexico on this side? It's there. I see it like down here. 
What, what tribe is that? Uh, it's called Isaacar. It's a car. It's a car. Bro, you died. You weren't born in Mexico, were you? No, I was born in New York. Okay, he was born in New York. In Mexico, there's actually a town called Issachar de Matemoro, right? Why would that be? Why would a Hebrew name be one of the names for one of your towns in Mexico? Teach him, I teach! Even Mexico itself is a Hebrew word. You know why? Because your people are the Israelites. Your people are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's right. right. Not the Jewish man over there in Israel, but you are the real chosen person of God. That's right. Right? So you had a question, brother? Uh, no, you guys talked about Caught your attention. All praises, yeah. right? So you heard what we just read, right? What, what what does the Most High God require of us, right? Read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And verse now, verse Israel, verse what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. Right, fear God. To walk in all his ways. That's the most important. Walk in all his ways, right? Go on. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right, all your heart and all your soul. Now I'm going to ask you, do you love God? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It didn't sound too short. Like if your girl was next to you and you said, and I asked you, do you love your girl? You started like that? It's over, my boy. I mean, probably because you're too unsure what love is. Let's show him. Let's show this brother what love is. All right. That's right. So, That's right. So, so you can love God first, and maybe He'll send you a woman to love. Right. Bring this up. First John. Uh, first John. First John five and three. Five and three. Five and three. This first John, verse five, verse three. But this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep His commandments. That we keep His commandments. That sounds familiar, right? Right over here. We read it in the Old Testament, we read it in the New Testament, right? Go on. And his commandments are it's not grievous. grievous. It's not grievous, that means hard. So his commandments aren't hard. So it's not hard to love God. So if it's not hard to love God, how much easier would it be to love each other? To love your family, to love your sister, right? Because we would think it must be impossible to serve God in love. No, it's very easy. Keep his commandments, right? So do you know any of the commandments of God? Um, I know a couple. I know one of this to love your parents. Right. Honor your mother and father. Honor your mother and father. Um, spread his word. Spread okay. his word. Okay, go on to the I know, I know a couple of them. So, uh, what I'm about trying. like what we're allowed to eat and not eat? What about that? I like to eat healthy. Yeah, eat healthy, but God uh, has a layout. He outlines exactly what we should eat to be healthy. That's and what we shouldn't eat to be healthy, right? You ever heard of that? No. No? no. All right. First, give me uh, right? Give me Matthew 4, 4, about the shot. He, he got a four, right? Now, this is very important. Now, before I bring it out, I'm going to harp, harp on the importance of the law, right? Because that's how we love God, keeping his commandments, ah. right? And the law of God is his word, right? Who... Do you know who the Word of God is? Made flesh. Who is that? Who do we call the Word of God? What do we call the Word of God? Yeah. Um, Jesus. That's right. Who the world calls Jesus, whose real name in the Hebrew, right, is Yahweh Shah. Because the, the letter J wasn't even invented before 1500s. So his name wasn't Jesus. I don't know if you knew that. In Greek, they have an I for it. But in the Hebrew, it's a Y. And all that going way back, it boils down to his name being Yahweh Shah, not Jesus, right? Or Jesus, or even that, not Zeus, none of that, right? So in Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah. So we respect him, right? If you respect somebody, you call them their name. Like, what's your name, brother? Julian. Julian. Nice to meet you, Edgar. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's disrespectful, right? You, you call me Edgar? Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's disrespectful, yeah, yeah. right? I'm not going to call you something. I don't know if you got the Edgar under there. But, no, I don't. All right, I'm just saying. But that's disrespectful so we want to respect him right because he's the messiah so we put respect on it right give us uh matthew 4 and 4 about this this is matthew verse 4 chapter 4 verse 4 but he answered and said it is not written man shall not live by bread alone Wait, bring out again. this is matthew chapter 4 verse 4 but he answered and said it is it is written man shall not live by bread alone right man shall not live by bread alone but but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. 
every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, right? The Most High God is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shah, right? The name of the Father is in the Son, right? And vice versa, right? So now we're going to go into the Word of God, right? Which is, if we follow the Word of God, that's how we show we love God, right? right. That's right. Right? And that's how we show we love each other, right? Go on. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 2. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Right? You're a child of Israel, right? Read on. Saying, these are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Right? Whatsoever part of the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and two of the cud, among the beasts, that shall you eat. Right. So, these are the beasts you should, you can eat, right? That have cloven feet. As far as like, uh, you know, a cow, right? A cow's yeah. foot is, is cloven, right? And it chews cud, meaning it properly digests its food, right? Now, before before we go to verse 7, I'm going to ask you, do you eat pork? Do I eat pork? Yeah. Like bacon? Yeah, like, like, like bacon. Yeah, for like breakfast. Like breakfast. All right, yeah. do you eat pork? Do you eat sausage? Do you eat, uh... Some people don't think about uh, pepperoni. Yeah, I like I, I, I eat a lot of meat. I'm a meat guy. Well, all right, I eat a lot of meat. So okay. yeah, most likely. <laughs> what about seafood? Sometimes, like shrimp. Shrimp? Uh, I don't know. Not really. All right, so look, we're gonna go through it real quick, and then we're gonna see if you love God by your response to what the Bible says. Right? Who's Moses talking to? Do you know that Moses led the children of Israel out of out of Egypt? You familiar with that story? Yeah. Right, so Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, and then in the wilderness, he gave them laws from God. And then these laws were written in the first five books of the Bible. So we're going to read Leviticus, one of the books of Moses, where the laws are in there, right? So give, give me Leviticus 11 and 7, right? We're going to go down to verse 7, where it tells you what you can't eat, right? Bring it up. This is Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Bring it up. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. What swine? Swine? Yeah, what swine? Oh. Three nice wheeling really cards. Anybody want to There's a reason I should do it here. You can put up his, but I love this figure. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't get it for you guys. Leviticus 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. And the swine, which is the pig, right? Though he divide the hoof, right? Though his, he look almost like a clean animal because his foot is cloven. Go on. And be cloven footed. Right. That he cheweth not the cud. But he don't chew the cud. He don't properly digest his food. Do you know a pig will eat anything? A pig will eat a dead body. I seen, I seen a pig, two pigs in a pen, right? One of the pigs defecates, right? That's, you know fecal matter, right? You understand that? He shits himself, right? Yeah. And then the other pig immediately eats what he just defecated. These are the things that you eat. You're eating shit in the morning. That's right. You start your day with eggs and shit. Right. Just think about that every time you eat bacon. Wake him I, mean, up. I mean, a, a bacon comes from a pig's ass, so I guess you're right. I mean, hey, even more so. So read off. He is unclean to you. The pig is unclean to you, right? Go on. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Right. So, not just shall we not eat it, what else shouldn't we do with the pig? And their carcass shall you not touch. Shall we do what? Shall, shall you not, not touch. touch. We can't even touch a dead pig. Word. Right? So, no no going to the grocery store, just picking up packages of pork, like, ah, no, just don't touch it at all, right? That's right. I know we don't see many dead pigs lying around, but... Don't touch anything uh, uh, that the Most High said not to, which would be the carcass of the pig, right? Right. Come on, look. What does it say? Yeah, yeah. Just get the, just read it the first line. All right. This is Man, tell, tell them to call back later. God call them, man. Yeah. It's Leviticus 11, verse 7 in the GNT. Right. Do not eat pig. Right. Do not Do eat, eat pig. pig. So when it's talking about swine, it's talking about the pig, right? right? Read, read on it, uh, uh, Leviticus 11 and 9 for the... For the Right? He said he eat shrimp. Ah, the brother said he eat shrimp. Let's see if the Most High God likes shrimp or he hates shrimp. Bring it up. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Bring it out. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. This is what you can eat, right? 
Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales, right? Do shrimp have fins and scales? Uh, yeah. Do they? Yeah. They have a shell. That shell is not scales, right? That's an exoskeleton, right? That's not scales. You know what scales are when you when you on the side of a fish like a salmon and the little flakes come off, right? That's scales, right? So a, a shrimp has fins but no scales, right? Also like a clam. Does a clam have fins and scales? Oysters, mushrooms, uh, oysters, mussels, lobster, crabs. All these things don't have fins nor scales, right? No, so you, uh, real, so you can't eat them, right? In the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So whatever has fins and scales, you can eat that, right? Read on. And all that have not fins and scales, all that have, all that have not fins and scales, right? Like shrimp, crab, lobster, mussels, oysters, etc. Right? Seaweed. Go on. And in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters of all that move in the waters right go on and of any living thing which is in the waters let me ask you a quick question just a just a critical thinking question right are plants alive yeah. are there plants in the water i think so yeah all right read that again from the last one top two no just you know, live, every living thing and of any living thing which is in the waters and see we need a plant Huh? Is seaweed a plant? Uh, yeah. Does it have fins and scales? Scales? Uh, no. Exactly. So you cannot get seaweed either because it comes from the water and it's living, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, they, they, shall, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be an abomination, right? Rick? Go on. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Right. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. But ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. So we should not eat the shrimp, crab. We gotta stay away from it, bro. Now this is the this is this is the commandment of God. Now you said you love God. Then we showed you loving God is keeping the commandments, right? You're an Israelite. The duty of being an Israelite is to fear God, love God, and keep the commandments, right? Uh, so now that you know you can't eat bacon in the morning lunch or dinner at all right. and you can't eat shrimp crab and lobster well, you know what will you do now will you choose to love god or will you look at him in his face and say i hate you damn i mean i don't want to say i hate him so so what you gonna do you gonna, you gonna keep the commandments come on julian um, bring this up while he's pondering it should be an easy answer Right, it's John 14, yeah. verse 15. Bring it up. If you love me, right. keep my commandments. Now this is Christ speaking, and he speaks what the Father says, tells him to say, right? So if you love Christ and the Most High God, you'll keep his commandments, right? And one of his commandments, or two, is don't eat pig, don't eat crab, shrimp, lobster, etc. You brothers eat crab, shrimp, and lobster? You don't eat shrimp and lobster. You eat pork? Or you it's not right. It's not healthy. It got worms in it. See, look, I don't know these brothers from a hole in the wall, but look, they don't eat pork. He's trying to cut them. So what will you do for God? I don't even know if they believe in God yet, but you... All praises, man. What happened? No, no, we just question where you from, man. Where you from? I'm from Milford, I mean, your family, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they're Brazilian. Brazilian. Okay, okay. You see yourself on that side down there? Yeah, yeah, so you believe in God as well? Right? And you Brazilian? Yes, sir. Okay. Somewhere on somewhere in the bottom, right? Nah, this brother not getting away. You still gotta answer that question, kid. Okay. Are you gonna love God? This brother has a has a he has a strong and powerful question in front of him. Will you choose to love God and live, or will you choose to hate God and die? Now that's a, it sounds extreme. Right. But to love God is to keep his commandments. And you gotta keep his commandments to live, right? Cause you can't just live eating food. Bring out a Matthew 4 and 4 again, Robert oh, Chuck. Answer the question, brother. Are you gonna stop eating? No, oh, read answer the question right now. You gonna stop eating pork or not? 
for God. Not for us, not for yourself, but for God. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even put it like that, I guess. I, I so could, like, you could I, cut it out entirely? Yeah. That's About right. Crab and lobs. Yeah, I don't like some food. Go crazy. Check it out. Brother, repent, bro. That's the spirit we got to come in, right? Because we want to love God, right? I mean, I don't hate him because like, he loves us. He loves us, but he will punish us, right? Your parents love you no matter what, but they still gonna punish you for doing something wrong, right? right. Just as your parents chastise you or punish you, that's what God does to us for what yeah. we do. That's right? right. So the reason why our people are in a terrible position that we're in as a whole is because we belong to God. We're the chosen people of God, but we walked away from it. So if y'all brothers wanna be strong in this world, y'all gotta come back to the laws of God, right? That's right. In, in its entirety, right? And it's not hard. The law, following the law is easy. That's what the book says. So it's something as simple as stop being hurt. Stop being crabs. Get you some get you some fringes, right? See these brothers got the fringes? This is a law, right? Even the um even the tassels, right? Read um give me the fringes, Father Shah. Uh, numbers 15 and 38. Yeah. Right, you're gonna do it. Yeah, you can bring out um first John 5 and 38. Or you can hold, hold that. Bring it something. This is Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speaking to the children of Israel. Where's this, where's this guy from right here? Okay. Still. Still? I don't know about that guy. He's too far in the back. He don't seem like he loved God enough, man. What's up, brother? All right, listen up. All right, listen up. Speak unto the children of hey, Israel. Hey, brother. Hey, primo. I like that hoodie, bro. The same hoodie I got on, bro. Come hear the word. Speak us up. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God is talking to you. That's right. Listen up. And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. That's a big commandment, right? God is saying, command them on my behalf that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments, right? Go on. Throughout their generations. Forever. From generation to generation, right? Why? And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Look at this brother fringes right here. You see that border of ribbon of blue? You see the blue right there? You see the blue? Yeah. My boy drippy drippy. You feel me? Got the light blue, Ooh, navy man. blue. You feel me? <laughs> right? Go on. And it shall it's lucky. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Right? This is why it's important to have these fringes. Not just so you can look drippy, but why? Listen. That ye may look upon it. That you look at it, right? And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And you remember the commandments of God. Right. Why? Because there's more than 10 commandments. There's over 16, there's over 600 of them, right? Over about 613, right? So when we look at, that's why there's so many fringes. You see that? So when you look at the fringes, or you just like going throughout your day, you touch your fringes, you'll know, I can't eat that bacon. You'll wake up in the morning, you might see your fringes. And you'll be like, yo, I can't do no wickedness. It's, it's a reminder so that we keep the law of God. What about like fruits? Like apples, okay, what about fruits? Give me, you know, you know what's up? This is 40 now. Right? What about fruit? That's an interesting question. I like that question, right? You got, you got, you got, you got. I got first John for you. Oh, is it? No, it's, it's here, right? Two and four. Genesis 29, right? Look at Yo, it's good. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Hey, you an Israelite, more than likely, right? And you got to keep the laws of God. So, you brothers, spread spread the word. You brothers, spread the word that the blacks, Hispanics, colloquially known, right? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the chosen people of God, right? That's right. And as the chosen people of God, we got to come back to his word, right? We can't just disobey God and think we're going to be cool out here, right? We could be having a good time, but the Most High God gonna cut that short. Right. Gonna follow His law, right? Right. Right. right? So y'all, y'all brothers, uh, Lord willing, y'all have a good day. You feel me? And y'all understand? Spread that word, all right? Now, now I got you. Bring this up. This is the book of Genesis, chapter one and verse twenty-nine. Bring it out. And God and Yahweh said, "Behold, don't bring, hey, hey, don't be a demon, brother. 
Let him hit. Let, let him just no, respect it. No, just let him hear the last one. I got you, brother. One, one last word. I, I just question. Bring it out. He asked the question. You know what I'm saying? Go on. I have given you every herb bearing seed. Right. Every herb bearing seed. Right. Which is upon the face of all the earth. Right. And every tree. In the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. Right. So what we can eat is fruit that bears seed. Right. Because why? Because in the seed is life. Right? Because most high God gave us, he gave us, his chosen people, herb bearing seed. I got a lot of fruits at home, so I love You know what I'm saying? Eat your fruits, you feel me? Stay away from the swine, stay away from the shrimp, and you'll be alright, brother. Get you some fringes, and get you, you got a Bible? Uh, no, no, no. Alright, you, you, got, you got a phone? Download, download the Bible app, you know what I'm saying? Download the Bible app, and just, whenever you get some time, you know, check in, you feel me? All right, brother. Julie. All praise. You see, our people gotta repent because we, yeah, we. Our people gotta repent because we going through a lot out here. That's right. The quicker our people repent, the faster we get out of this hellhole, man. Right. We gotta come out here every week to tell our people to repent. And Lord, the Lord blessing everybody. Look at got brothers over there with tassels. Brothers That's over right. there. Brothers, look at the line. The block in Times Square, man. Bring it out. We're we, we gonna take over Times Square one of these days, man. Bring it out. Right? So, give me lamentations, uh, lamentations 17. Give me Psalms 38. Right? So, pretty much, we gotta come back because we've been so rebellious. We've been a rebellious house, right? Following the ways of these people, this person, that person. Look at this body. Who, who smiles at us and says hello? We seem to follow them into wickedness, right? Well, how, well, what's the Most High God gonna say to us when, when he comes, when he sends his son back, and he sees us just fornicating with these other nations, right. walking hand in hand, right? Though hand in hand be joined together, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Right. So you gonna drop right along with that white man you holding hands with? You gonna drop right along with that East Indian man you holding hands with? Right. And that's primarily our sisters, man. They, they falling into all type of doctrines, all type of wickedness. Why, why would you want to leave a powerful so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, an Israelite, right? To be with the dogs of the, the earth. To be with the scum, the swine of the earth. That sounds so backwards. These people can't live in the sun. They're cold hearted, right? <laughs> 417. Here's the book of Lamentation, chapter 417. Bring it out. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. As for us, the Israelites, our eyes have failed because we're looking at these people for help and we should be looking at God for help, right? And now we're watching. We have watched for a nation that cannot save us. We have did what? We have watched for a nation that cannot save us. This nation around us can't save us. Brian can't save us, Zach can't save us, Susie can't save us. We're out! Right. Who's gonna save us? Yahweh gonna save us. Right. By Shim Yahushua, right? We gotta look to God for salvation. We can't look at another man for salvation. So when we come out here preaching the word of God, you listen up. Because you dying every day, brother. Right. Every day you wake up, you just as dead as that, that bear on your feet, man. Bring this up. In Psalms 38, verse 3, Bring it there, out. there is no soundness in my flesh, right? But because thy anger, neither there is any rest in my bones. There's no rest in our bones. Bring it out. How can we rest in a filthy land? Right. How can we go to sleep on a pool of blood? Right. It's impossible. Unless you're turned on by blood like the wicked white men. Right. Unless you're turned on by fornication but like the other nations, right? There's no way to rest in this land of wickedness. Give me Micah 2 and 10. You got a call something? Give me Micah 2 and 10, Bob. Right? How y'all doing? Como estas? Todo bien? We gotta come back. That's everybody. Not just us. We're not just out here for Jews. We're not just out here for the blacks. We're out here for the whole house of Israel. Right? right? So when we reach out to you, we reaching out to you as God commanded us, right? To go out to the highways and byways and bid our people back to the marriage, right? So when people ask us, you guys don't want to talk to us. Are you guys racist? 
No, the Most High told us to go out to our people. Right. That's right. Yahweh Shai said go to our people, not to the other nations. That's right. But you let these people be your book, and what happens? They try to screw everything up. They try to say, oh no, the New Testament changes everything. God was kind of aggressive in the past, but now he's all loving. Right. Now he loves all. He's going to save everyone. God is coming back to save everyone. That's what they want us to teach out here. But that's so far from the truth. Bring this up. This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Bring it out. Arise ye and depart. Do what? Arise ye and depart. Why? For this is not your rest. This is what? This, this is, is not your rest. rest. What is America? This, this is, is not, not your rest. rest. What is this land? This, this is, is not your rest. rest. This is not your rest. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. for over 400 years, Bring you have out. been getting killed. For over 400 years, you have been in a downtrodden, displaced, and unguided position. Right. Where is your guidance? Where are your leaders? This nation for too long have killed every one of us that stood up. Yes, right. 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 All of the most powerful of our people have been slain. But we stand bold because the Most High God is on our side. Right. Right. This is Isaiah 57, verse 21. Bring it out. There is no peace, said Yahweh, right. to the wicked. Bring it out again. This is Isaiah 57, 21. There is no peace, said Yahweh, to the wicked. There's no peace to the wicked. Right. So if you out here following the ways of this nation, right? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Right. So, right. so, as a matter of fact, if you're following the ways of this earth, you're slipping into wickedness. Right. We got to follow the ways of the Most High, the God, the Father of the Israelites, right? That's right? The Creator, right? We have to follow Him with our whole heart, mind, soul, and body, right? right? Because this nation can't save us. We'd be a damn fool to think that uh, uh, the same people that tied us up in chains and shipped us over to Britain, shipped us over to the Venezuela shipping all over to Portugal. We'd be a damn fool to think those people that sold us for money is going to be the same people that sell us, uh, to, to save us. Right? They sold us, right? Bring us up. This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 in the CEV. Bring it up. Get out of here, you crooks. You'll find no rest here. This is no, we got no rest here, right? We've been to the wicked. Stop being wicked. There's no rest here. Bring it up. You're not fit to belong to the Lord's people. And you will be destroyed. What will happen to the so-called white man? And you, you will be destroyed. destroyed. What will happen to the so-called Asian man? And, and you, you will be destroyed. destroyed. What will happen to any other nation that's not Israelites in and, this land? And you, and you will, will be, be destroyed. destroyed. Lest the Israelites repent of their wicked ways, you also will be destroyed. Because we know two-thirds of our people will be burnt up in this land. Right. And only one-third will be passed through the fire as pure. As pure as gold, right? That's it on that? Uh, I got, I got Job 9 and 24 for me. Uh, Con, give me Job 9 and 24 first. Okay. This is Job verse 9 20 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given to who? The hands, the hands of the, the wicked. wicked. Who runs the earth? The, the wicked. wicked. Who? The, the wicked. wicked. The wicked run the earth. I mean, that's not too hard to see. Look at how, how crime rates are raising. Look at the famine of the world. Look at World War III gearing up. But niggas is out here taking pictures. Niggas is out here like tourists, right? But when that bomb drop, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna scurry like roaches, right? Hey, my brother with the blue shades, man. Brother wanna look, brother wanna look flashy. Brother wanna look drippy. Until he get cut with the sword, then the brother really drippy, right? Bring this out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 16. Yeah. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. As who? As Esau. As who? As Esau. As who? As Esau. And if you didn't know, Esau. That's right. This is, this is not me bringing it up. This is the word of God. We come out here to preach the word of God to our people to let them know that the children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans That's right. who are also scattered abroad. And who are who is the evil of this earth? 
Esau. That's right. If we can look at the face of the so-called European man and look at his heart and his history and look at his his, his 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 deeds of evil and see that he is the wicked man. Right. Where you from, That's brother? Right. Huh? Guatemala? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Do you believe that the, the Spaniard, the conquistador, the, the white man, the European man, do you believe that their evil and wicked deeds cannot go unpunished? I can't say that. All right, brother. Do you do you believe in God? Hundred percent. I'm Christian. You say you're Christian, right? So you follow Christ, right? Huh? You follow Christ. Sure. So what did Christ tell us? Give me. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Sure. What? Who? Who is Christ? Who is Christ sent to? Is Christ here for everyone? Is he going to save everyone on the earth? Sure. Sure. Sure about that. Yeah. Let's see what Christ says. This the book. Okay. No, let, let me let me just bring this out real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Right now, what he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now this is Christ saying he's not sent. Hey brother. My brother. What's up? You hear what that said? What did Christ say out of his own mouth? I heard the brother scream. I heard the brother scream that he just not listening, right? So let me get Zechariah 7 and 11. I'm concerned. He said he's a Christian, but he doesn't want to hear the words of Christ. Right. How are you a Christian and you don't want to hear the words of Christ? Yes. Oh, because he's too he's too preoccupied. Hey brother. My brother. Guatemala. Is that what Christ looks like? No, sir. What does he look like? Huh? That one? Yeah, well, well, take out the horns. We have the horns. Is that Jesus? No, sir. Huh? No. No. What does what does he look like? I don't know how is he look like. Well, you don't know. You follow Christ, but you don't understand what he looks like. Christ that is not looking like that. No. You know, the Bible tells you what he looks like, right? I I I don't have time right now. I that's all it. My friend they waiting for me. You're a Christian, right? So you gonna follow your friends or you gonna follow Christ? Right. Right. So how about you They stay waiting in? for me like that. I'm just taking a look at whatever so whatever it is. Come on, you wanna hear the word of God or you wanna go hang out with your friends? Right. Friends. Thus say it, man. Bring me Zachariah 7 11. Bring it up. We wipe we, we shake the dust when a brother say he want to go be, hang out with his friends and he don't want to hear the word of God. Hey, I did what I could, right? Right, right. right. This is Zechariah 7, verse 11. Right. Right. But they refused to hawk it. They did what? They, they refused, refused to hawk it. They did what? They, they refused, refused to hawk it. Go on. And pulled away the shoulders and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Just like that brother did. He came up and said, I'm a Christian. Okay, I immediately went to Christ's words. And what he said, I'd rather go talk with my friends. I'd rather go hang out with my friends. So he stopped hearing the word, pulled the shoulder, and went and walked right into damnation, right? Lord willing, that brother repents so he can come back and actually be saved when, 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 when all hell breaks loose, figuratively speaking, right? Because for too long, our people are being purposefully, you know what I mean, ignorant. They're being willfully ignorant. Why? Even those who don't believe in God are being ignorant, but even if you would say they're Christians, how you gonna be a, hey sir, are you a Christian? Quick one. Are you a Christian? Uh, oh yeah. Are you a Christian? Yes. Are you a devil? <laughs> I know who he is. I don't think he knows that he's the devil. Right. Um. Let me get, oh yeah, give me that. Give me that. This is Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Bring it out. Where, whereas Edom say it. Whereas Edom say it, the so-called white man, woman, and child. Go on. We are impoverished. Right. But we will return uh -huh. and build the, in desolate places. Right. So, hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of God? You and the whole family? Y'all got a minute for the word of God? He said, no, sir. He said, no. Hey, 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 watch, watch this out. Don't touch the brother. Just keep it moving. Keep it moving, right? Bring this out again, Barbara Shot. It's Malachi 1, verse 4 for Bring the top. Whereas Edom, say it. Right. We are impoverished, but we will return and build in the desolate places. Uh-huh. 
Go on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build. They shall do what? They, they shall build. build. And what's going to happen? But I will throw them. What's God going to do? But I, I will, will throw them. them. What's God going to do? But I, I will, will throw them. them. What's going to happen to America? But I, I will, will throw them. them. The most high God's going to throw this place down into the dust. That's, That's right. right. Right? Sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Happy are we when we get to dash in pieces the nations. Right? right? When the most, huh? Oh, that's that's too. We not gonna hit him with that. Too crazy, right? Y'all I, 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 both throw that out of mouth for two or three. Somebody get it. God, yeah, get, 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 get it. Right, we on. And the people, read. Should call and, and they should call them the border of wickedness. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, my man, can I ask you a question? Just try to wave me off. I'm not a dog, sir. You're the only I see. Bring it out. And they should call them the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness. When we look at the earth, we can clearly see who the wicked people of this earth are. Talk about it, man. We can clearly see it, even through their skin, right? If we're looking for a bloody, a, the bloody men in this earth, who do we look at? Except the people who we can see the blood through their skin. That's right. Just let Rudolph the Red Nose rain. As as That's you look me right in the eyes, try to tell me a lie. You got too much pride lately. I've been thinking and meditating. Scripture keep me straight, but I'm always keeping tabs on some shit. I've been watching all your actions and shit. Hey, I try to be like Malachi three and six.